what if I told you that one simple exercise alone can make you happier, decrease stress, improve your athletic performance, slow down your heart rate, and increase your blood flow, reduce anxiety, make you more creative, help you quit smoking and drinking, clear your mind of unnecessary thoughts and worries, develop willpower, and increase your focus and concentration, among 90 other things at least, without even moving a single muscle. Probably sounds too good to be true, right? Wrong. It's actually called meditation, and a lot of people have this idea in their head that meditation is some weird thing like old hippies do, but something that I started doing three months ago, and it's completely changed my life. So I want to put this on here for you guys because this will make a huge difference. Meditation has completely wiped out my depression. I've been able to focus on a level that I never even thought was possible before. My mind has become clear and I now have a much better idea of what I want to do with my life. And all of my greatest ideas have come to me when I was meditating. An example of two people who you would likely know that are avid supporters of meditation are... Russell Brand and Jerry Seinfeld. Here's what Russell Brand had to say about meditation. He said, Transcendental meditation, which is a type of meditation, has been incredibly valuable to me, both in my recovery as a drug addict and in my personal life, my marriage, my professional life. I literally had an idea drop into my brain the other day while I was meditating, which I think is worth millions of dollars. And then Jerry Seinfeld said, I've been practicing transcendental meditation most of my life. I think that does something to your nervous system. It has given me calmness I don't think I had at 19. The reason why meditation helps, or at least part of the reason why, is that meditation is one of the only times your mind gets a chance to rest. Because your mind does not rest even when you're sleeping. In fact, your mind is almost just as active when you're sleeping. One of the most important things that meditation is supposed to help you do is to live more in the moment and out of your head. This is important because the only time you can actually do something is in this present moment. You can't do it 10 seconds from now. You can't do it 10 minutes before this happened. It has to be right in this very moment. That's the only time you can do something with your life. So learning how to be present and not stuck in your head thinking about the future or something about the past that's holding you down. Being in the present allows you to escape the pain that you're causing for yourself. Because all emotional pain is self-inflicted. For example, if you just broke up with someone and you didn't want it to end the way it did, you probably really depressed for a good amount of time after that, especially if they were the ones who left you. But the only reason you're feeling that pain, that emotional pain, is because you're thinking about it. The person you broke up with isn't breaking up with you in this moment. It already happened. But the fact that you are thinking about it is what is causing you the pain, when instead you could just be in the moment living your life. If you're still lost, that's okay, because I'm going to talk about that more later on. So now I'm going to tell you how you can start meditating today. The first thing you need to do is find a room or someplace quiet where you can be alone and sit down, either sitting in a chair with your back straight with good posture or sitting cross-legged. And then the next thing you're going to do is close your eyes and focus purely on your breathing. Specifically, I want you to focus on the sensation of breathing. So the air going in through your nose and coming out of your mouth. And it should be something natural. It shouldn't be something that you force. Just let it happen how it normally would. And what's going to happen is you're going to get distracted and your mind is going to start getting full of thoughts and that is when you have to catch yourself. You have to catch yourself when you start daydreaming or thinking about other things and snap out of it and then go back to focusing on the sensation of your breathing. That is how you learn to live in the moment. A few tips. One, it's better for your hands to be like this when you're meditating. So it's like the AOK sign. 
and you just simply rest your hands on your legs and relax. Like your whole body should be relaxed while you're keeping good posture. You'll know when you're in the moment when you hear this high pitched E noise. It's kind of like those dog whistles, those really high pitched dog whistles that you can that you can't hear. But if you know what that sound sounds like, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, literally just go search on YouTube, dog whistle noise, and you'll find it. And that's the noise that you want to hear for. That's the best way I can describe it. That's what you want to listen to. And once you hear that, you know you're in the moment. Because that is when you're completely aware of what is around you. Maybe there's a vent in your room that's been on this whole time, but you didn't notice it until I just told you or until you started meditating and you started hearing it. I'm going to put all my other tips in the description below. I'm also going to give you the link to 100 benefits of meditation also below. And I want you to look at that. And if you have any problems or any questions that you want to know about meditating, just comment below and I'll answer them for you. And lastly, the most important thing is that you do this consistently. That you start out doing this every day until it becomes a habit. And then it's alright if you miss a day in between. But you really want to do this every day to get the full effects of it. Or else it's not going to have that great of an impact on you. And I want you to start out just doing 5 minutes a day. Only 5. And once you think you're fine with doing that, if you think you can move past that, I want you to move 10 minutes. So maybe the first week, just do 5. And then 15 minutes when you're ready. And then... Finally, I want you to end up doing this for 20 minutes a day. And that is when it has the greatest impact. When I started doing 20 minutes a day, it completely made a difference to my overall well-being and happiness level.